Hello guys, today we are going to discuss questions from Hacker Earth from May Circuits 2020. So, first of all, let's go to the question. The question states that you are given two numbers n and k. For each number in the interval 1 to n, your task is to calculate its largest divisor that is not divisible by k. And we have to print some of these divisors and k is a prime number you can see there are four test cases n equals to 4 10 k equals to 3 3 is prime and the result is 41 and in the explanation you can see that there is a list 1 to 10 or 1 to m and all the multiples of 3 are reduced to their greatest divisors which are not divisible by 3 you can see in place of 3 there is 1 in place of 6 there is 2 in place of 9 there is 1 since 9 is divisible by 3 and if we factorize it 9 then we get 3 into 3 and again 3 is divisible by 3 and place of 9 there is 1 and total sum is 41 so we are going to code it and before that we are going to explain this now we will take these as our example n equals to 20 and k equals to 3 so you can see that these are all the numbers from 1 to n and we have to reduce these red numbers to these in place of 3 is 1 in place of 6 2 in place of 9 1 in place of 4, in place of 12, 4, in place of 15, 5, in place of 18, so be 2. You can see that 1 and 2 are again repeating. This is because 9 is a power of 3 and 3 is also a power of 3 or k. So after each power the number again starts from 1, 2, 3 and so on and rest of the multiples of k are remain in their original reduced form or initial reduced form. Now here we are going to use arithmetic progression and a formula sum of n terms of arithmetic progression you can see that or google it now let's dis discuss pseudocode here i have initialized a function divisor sum two parameters n and k and initially we are already calculated natural sum from 1 to n using the formula n into n plus 1 by 2 and again we are initializing i equals to 1 and for each power less than equals to n we are calculating these quantities and reducing natural sum and then returning the natural sum and I will discuss these in next slide for i equals to 1 a equals to 3 you can see a equals to power of k comma i and p equals to n divided by a or you can say p is just the number of divisors of a less than equals to n so if a equals to 3 then n 
p equals to 6 and k minus 1 is constant in our question or in this example which is 2 since k equals to 3 and multiples of 3 are or multiples of first power of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and we are calculating k minus 1 by a since k minus 1 by a in the modified sum of powers and now we are multiplying these numbers into these or k minus 1 by a after reducing multiple of 3 the number will become 2 4 6 8 10 12 and we can reduce original number these numbers minus these to these 3 minus 2 1 6 minus 4 2 9 minus 6 3 but still these numbers are not in these positions are not in their original integer or whatever you can say here it should be 1 should be 2 again we are going to increment i for i equals to 2 a equals to 9 since 3 to power 2 equals to 9 and p equals to 2 since multiples of 9 less than 20 are 2 9 and 18 and k minus 1 is still constant multiples of 9 are 9 and 18 and k minus 1 by a equals to 2 divided by 9 and again modified sum of powers will be 2 comma 4 2 divided by 9 equals to 2 18 into 2 divided by 9 equals to 4 and we can reduce these from these and again we will our array will be 1 comma 2 and now this is in correct form see this question again the test case and a and b Here we have input taken input a and b and in the function divisor sum we have printed the values and now we are going to define our function and having two parameters a now we have to calculate natural sum from let's take b as n and k sorry to initialize this n into one divided by two now initialized i equals to one y to the 
power i sorry of each power less than equals to n will be n divided by a now we have to calculate or find sum of multiples of power that will be equal to k minus 1 into the first term is a and total number of terms is P. So P into P into A plus total number of sum total numbers of terms minus one into D as D is two since all the numbers are multiples of a number and divided by a now we have to reduce natural sum and now we can return natural sum Execute this. Oops, sorry. Sorry, we have not incremented i. Let's run this again. You can see. So incorrect answer. You can submit this code. You can see it's only taking 0.91 seconds for input like these but for this input we have calculated only four or we have iterated only four iterations there are only four powers of 97 less than equals to this number so quite efficient approach Thank you guys.